we're gonna go hang out and see you guys at a different day. <laughs> <laughs> everybody today is December 28th and it is my second ultrasound and blood work appointment today um, I have one more next week on Tuesday and then the week after that is the transfer so about two weeks until our transfer Ooh, what's on my face um, so this is exciting it's coming pretty soon I'm kind of having a rough morning I don't know if you can tell I have no makeup on because I've been crying <sighs> today. The reason I was crying was because Justin was supposed to be here today for this appointment with us. Um, he's supposed to have today off and go back to work tomorrow after his leave, but I guess he was supposed to go back today, which I'm not really upset that he's not at this appointment. Like, that's not a big deal to me, but um, we were going to have like a date day today up here in San Diego, and so I cried a little bit, a lot, when I found out that we wouldn't be able to do that because his family's been in town the last two weeks, which has been great, and my family too, but... Um, we haven't had any time, just the two of us, to have a date, so we planned today specifically for that and then found out like he has to work, so it's just been sucky, but we're hoping that he has this whole weekend off he's supposed to. We're hoping that that stays the same, but... So it's a little bit of a rough morning for me, but I'm here about 30 minutes early. My appointment's at 9, it's 8.30, and I'm gonna go in in a few minutes and hopefully they can see me early like they did last week. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes, but... Yeah, a little bit of a rough morning this so far. Mining works good. She said I have a triple stripe, which I've never heard that from any of my other doctors, which is a really sweet old lady. So, we're good to go for now, and we're gonna order my new progesterone this week or next week. We'll see. I am home now. It's about, what time is it? 12, 16 in the afternoon, because I decided on my way home to stop at the mall, Fashion Valley is like the best mall in our area, and I'm only up there every so often, so I figured it was the perfect time to stop by. And I just went to one store and I got a dress and a shirt. They're pretty cute. Um, and then I came home. So I don't have a car, so I can't leave the house, which sucks, because my car yesterday, I don't know if I told you guys already, my car just kind of stopped working. It wouldn't start on its own and the radio stations kept changing. The same thing happened last year and we got it fixed, but it's acting up again, I guess. I don't know. So we had to take it to the mechanic yesterday and he's probably gonna have it till like Thursday or Friday. So Justin's working, he has his car. My mom has an appointment, she has her car. So I'm stuck here um, and I hate it. But I'm gonna try and keep busy. I cleaned the whole house yesterday. I took down all of the Christmas stuff and hung back up our little baskets and put the lamp in the right spot and everything. So that's good. So the house is a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to just clean up a little bit more. I was going to go return these panels that we bought. They were supposed to go in our kitchen right there because the ones there are super ugly, but they don't fit by like half a centimeter. So I have to return those. But again, I have no car. <sighs> it's been a day, you guys. It's been the day. But I have Starbucks. So that helps a little bit. So it's been a few hours now. It's about 2.45 in the afternoon. I got a shower, obviously my hair is wet. And I've been doing some online shopping because I got some gift cards, but I haven't actually bought anything. I've just been like window shopping online. I'm very picky about what I want. But I wanted to ask you guys, some of you guys are photographers because I remember I asked one time in a vlog. Um, I want to get some new camera accessories, but I'm not really sure what to get. Like. I have a really great strap. I do need a new tripod, but I want a nice one, so I want to spend like a decent amount of money on that. I was just thinking like small things that are like helpful to you guys or things that you would want yourselves that I could maybe get. Um, my birthday is actually in like three weeks, and I'm thinking of getting a new lens, but I can't decide on that either. But I want to hear your opinion. And on the topic, I remember when I did post that vlog where I asked about... Um, photography or something someone said that they wanted to see my editing process in Lightroom that's where I edit so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys um, 
one of the photos that I edit in Lightroom. It's from a family photo shoot that we had this week. So I'll show you how that goes for me, like on a normal editing process. So this is the photo I think I'm gonna show you guys that I choose to edit. So this is a picture of Justin and our sweet, sweet, sweet nephew Christian um, for the family photos we took. It's gonna come up a little bit hard for you guys to watch this just cause a screen on camera is interesting to watch, but I'm gonna try my best. So this is what the photo looked like before. It looks pretty similar. I didn't really do much editing. I only edit in Lightroom, so I don't do any Photoshop, and that's the after. So it just, you can see, has a lot more color, um, brings a lot more tension to them, brings a lot more light in. The greens um, are a lot lighter and more visible. So I'll show you how I got that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset this photo so it's at its original settings. Okay. So the first thing I notice is that the white balance is a little bit off. So I'll pick up my dropper and I'll find a more neutral color right there. And that looks a little bit more like it, but the way I like to edit, I edit a little bit more cooler. So I'm going to lower the blues a little bit. Okay, so this is my magic thing. Over here are my presets that I've purchased. So I don't know if you guys have heard of these, but my favorite, favorite, favorite presets are the Mastin Labs presets, and I own the Portra version. So these presets are supposed to help your photos look like they were taken on a film camera, which I love the colors that film produces in images, so that's why I purchased them. My favorite one of these presets, you can get a little preview of them here, is the Portra 400. So this is the first one, this is the 160. As you can see, it's a lot darker. It's still better than the original, but not my favorite edit. This one is Portra 800, which is a lot more of a vibrant color that comes to the photo. Again, not my favorite. My favorite one is Portra 400. I don't know what it is about this one. I just feel like it brings the best colors out. Let me zoom in so you guys can see of a typical photo for me, so I feel like it accentuates a lot. Now the only things that I'm going to change now, I don't really have to do much else because I'm happy with the colors, is I'm going to brighten the image up, so I'll choose my exposure and brighten it up just a tad, and then I'll pull the highlights because the sky, I want just a little bit of detail in that sky. Um, this is more of a personal preference type thing, but we're already looking a lot better as you can see. But a personal preference for me is I love adding a lot of contrast to photos, not to the point where it looks like crappy from like when we were in middle school and we used to over contrast photos, but I like to add just a little bit to like darken the shadows and whatnot. So I'll make my own little line right here on the, um, the tone curve in Lightroom and I'll put two dots on my line and then when you pull this, it will lower or you know, add contrast and when you up this, it'll add highlights. So I don't typically do highlights, I typically just do the contrast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over that dot and pull those down just a tad. See, I like barely moved the tone slider as you can see, just the slightest bit to give more contrast and I love it. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll show you guys again, before and after, and it matches pretty well to the photo I took right here. This one's a little bit more cool than this, so I can, if I want it to be more consistent, lower the warmth on that, and that's a little bit more of what was, what it was looking like in camera. So again, before and after. And that, that's my typical editing process. I honestly couldn't do it without Mastin. They're the best presets ever, and they're affordable, and I honestly, like, ma it makes editing so much easier for me. There's a few other ones that I like that I can show you, but those are my absolute favorite. So these are by Britt Chandler. I found her on a Clickin' Moms website, and she had, um, I downloaded one of her breakouts, and it came with two free presets from hers that she made. So I like them both a lot, and I've used them a lot before I got masked in. The first one is a black and white preset, and it's called Adoration. And it's really cool. It's very, um, very matte. And that can work for you. It can not work for you sometimes. So I'll typically pull it down just a tad. I don't want it to be overly matte. And then I'll pull the contrast because I love contrasty photos. 
lower the highlights and up the exposure and that's how I would finish on that but these edits are great this is my typical black and white go-to preset and then the one that it came with also was this one called originality and I also like this one this one um, is also very matte so I'll again lower the matte and pull the contrast I love contrasty pictures and I think that it just works a lot better for me um, and then I'll show you like the difference. So this is the originality and this is the portrait. So it's just a very different type. The one is definitely more film while the other is definitely more natural colors probably. But yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you guys had any more questions that were like photography related because I love talking about it. Like it's something I'm super passionate about. So I have no problem sharing like tips or tricks with you guys. Just let me know. And now I'm going to just hang out, watch a show, and wait for my mom to get off so I can leave this dang house. Because <laughs> like, I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> Baby. Hello. What's up? I missed you. I missed you? How are you? Okay, so we're gonna go out to dinner now. Yeah. Our faces look weird, but we're gonna go try a new place. We never Bubble. do this stuff, and it literally stresses me out trying new stuff. <laughs> Ask Justin. We're it sitting does. here, and I'm like, maybe we should just go here. And he's like, no, it does. we're going. And yes, I have my ID. And so that's what we're doing right now. I'm yeah. a little bit panicked, but we're gonna make this happen. Blackbird. Here we go. Bye. Look how cute these menus are. They're made out of old vinyl records. They're so cool. Justin, what's yours? Mine is somebody. Who is it? I don't know. Mine is. Who do the tag? Kenny Legends. Look at how good that looks. For a second, I thought that was broccoli. It's cilantro. We're good. You excited? Oh, yeah. It looks good. Date night. Check. Got it. We're gonna go somewhere for dessert. Where are we going? Coastal. Oh, Coastal. Some of the best. What are you gonna get? Ice cream in the country. I'm gonna get cake batter probably with some cheesecake. My favorite is getting cheesecake ice cream with graham crackers and blueberries. It literally tastes like a cheesecake in a cup, but frozen. Oh, it's so good. That sounds it's phenomenal. so good. Dang it, you didn't even get scared. Can't scare a scare. <laughs> we're gonna go, wait, we're gonna go hang out and see you guys at a different day. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see you guys on a different day. We'll see you guys later. We're gonna go watch some TV and hang out downstairs. Thank you. Thank you. Cutie. Love you guys. See you soon.